Hello everyone, Eat Dirt here. Um, this is a basically automatic farm. All you have to do is plant, and it works off of Etho's bud switch. I'll put a link in the description. How it works is the water flows this way. It doesn't know that it can flow that way until it gets updated and it updates every time this grows and how it keeps track of how many times it updates is the signal comes down here and so it will go up each row but the pistons are tracked so it won't go and so, since it's one away from being full grown, all of them all the way up to here are extended. And so, once it grows, a, sig a signal will come through this one, activating this RS Norlatch, which will send a signal sending water to harvest it. And so, when it comes down the first time, I'll activate this RS Norlatch, which pushes this piston into the way. And then the next time, this one will activate. And then the next time, this one, and so on and so forth. And then after it gets destroyed, that counts as an update. And then it sends a signal to reset all the RS no latches. And so it this won't grow until day and so I'm gonna pause the video and not we're gonna wait for day. Okay everyone, it's daytime. So hopefully that grows and we can see it work and when it does grow and all the water is released and it destroys all the wheat is going to create a huge amount of lag um, oh so I guess I can explain a little more um, when it when it sends the signal to release the water to, to destroy all the wheat, also sends a very long delayed signal out to here to this piston to destroy the wheat and it pushes it off and to hopefully there. Oh, but most of the time it lands here. But sometimes it lands in there. Um and so the water will push all the weed into the stream and the stream carries it down over and then I just set up like a little base down in here and it also sends a signal around over this way here's part of it um, sends a signal over to here and plays a little note block um, Hopefully it grows soon. Here's the back. It's just pistons, worn up blocks, which is keeping the water from flowing out. And so once the signal is sent, it will turn off this torch and all the pistons will get retract and it won't send the signal to turn the water off until this wheat gets destroyed and then this is a manual override for the harvest 
So if I were to flip the switch on, it would harvest it right now, and then it also send a signal to reset all the RS no latches. And then this one is a manual reset of the RS nor latches in case it gets messed up somehow. I haven't really experimented with logging out and logging back in and or going to the nether and such. So that's in case you de do need to reset it every time. Um, uh, it usually doesn't take this long for weeds to grow. Cause the sun's, I started the recording when the sun was like here and now it's there. So day is at least a quarter of the way through. So it should harvest soon. It doesn't harvest in 15 seconds or so. I'll pause the recording and then start it as soon as it does update. This idea was actually suggested to me, um, and I thought it was an interesting idea, and so I tried and to make it, and this is what I came up with. And so I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to start as soon as that weed is harvested. And uh, it became night. So I put a glowstone block next to it, and hopefully it will update. I usually wouldn't have the glowstone here, because then it only grows during the day, and so then it will, def it will almost definitely grow after all that's done growing. But there's still some left not grown, but that's why there's glowstone over there. And, of course... It won't update because life's like that. If you want to show some someone something, not gonna happen. And so again, I'm gonna pause it and hopefully it updates soon. There we go. It just updated. And so the earth that was the no block. Here comes the water and here comes the lag. Uh, lag. All that wheat. And if you heard that was the piston that broke it. And so water should be turned. So much stuff. Let's see. No. So much lag. So much lag. Let's see. No, not that item. I'm trying to get flint and steel so I can... Okay. There we go. So I can burn all the items. But there is a lot of light. And all the legs gone. Uh, faster this way. Yeah, with all those items, it gets down to. Huh. That delay still isn't long enough because there's still items up there. But with all the items, it gets down to two frames a second. And so I just want to show you you see manually override it after long delay a pulse will come through here and turn the piston off and break it. turn it on and break it okay Thanks for watching.
Um, there's a lot of fun making this.